Hi everyone. This video is going to be about um, the week one of Lib 316 historical context and literature. Um, so as I mentioned in my previous video, week one, uh, if you just click on the overview, you'll be taken to the structure of week one. Um, we are going to be primarily engaging with literature related to uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin, but also I'm going to be providing some other resources um, related to slavery in the United States. <clears throat> so always start with the intro. Uh, you can go back to the home page and then go to the next. But the next section has the resources for the week. So here um, it's going to be chapters one and two from your textbook, The Age of Revolution and Scientific and Industrial Revolutions. Uh, there's an article for the week that you'll need to read. This is related directly to the final assignment uh, or the assignment for the week, the week one assignment. And then there's some multimedia here that provides um, historical background and context on Harriet Beecher Stowe's uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin. There are recommended resources each week, so if you want to dive deeper, feel free. I'm also going to be uh, providing some other resources to other texts. Um, uh, so for example, this week, I'm gonna send out links to the autobiography of uh, Frederick Douglass. Um, so you can also take a look at those per your interest. Let's jump in here though. So post your introduction. <laughs> so in this introduction, um, introduce yourself to your classmates. Please use a photo, uh, post a photo to your avatar uh, area so that we can all see you. Um, it's always good to have a face with a name. You can also feel free in this class to use the, um, the video feature in discussions if you want. I'll be using videos in my uh, discussions. Uh, I, I do it about, I try to do half and half video and writing. Um, all right, so introduce yourself, but also it says identify one literary text, for example, a novel, story, poem, movie, that influences how you understand your cultural identity. So you need to think a little bit about um, what you consider to be your cultural identity and then uh, related text directly to it. You can use popular uh, pop culture uh, resources as well. Um, so for example, I'm from the middle of Indiana, from a really tiny town uh, in the middle of nowhere, and certain country music songs tend to uh, create uh, have tend to have represented uh, a cultural identity that exists there um, that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm not necessarily into country music that much, but it definitely shapes the culture and is shaped by the culture there and in places like that. Okay, um, the discussion this week. So this video will be about everything but the assignment, and then I'll make another video about the assignment. I try to keep the videos to a minimum as much as I can. All right, the way that John has set up this class is that you, um, he wants real discussions, and I do too. I totally agree with John. We talk about this a lot. Um, don't have 30 separate conversations. Um, instead, try to uh, uh, have extended conversations with a few individuals, um, and you can feel free to bounce all over the class. If I reply to you, please reply to me too. Um, I'm not just some person there who's watching everything. I like to interact with all of you. It makes me feel good. Um, and so please, <clears throat> uh, if I reply to you, look out for those responses and reply back to me. Uh, if I've asked you questions or asked you to, uh, to develop ideas. Um, so this discussion might be a little bit different from what you're used to. Uh, you're supposed to post on at least four separate days and your posts have to total uh, a total of, of uh, 800 words. Um, so that might be a bit different. Now, for some of you might be thinking like four separate days, I can't post on four separate days. Um, if for some reason you can't do that due to uh, circumstances that are related to things going on in your life, like if you're militarily deployed, um, um, and things like that, just let me know and we can work out something else. Um, 
and there's no minimum number of posts. So, but the, the main thing is that your posts have to equal 800 words. So you might be thinking, well, how can I know if they equal 800 words? So if you just copy your posts, you know, like from the discussion like that, copy, um, and paste them into a Word document, right down here at the bottom, you can see that this document here is 1,836 8, 1, words. So once you post all your posts in there, in a Word doc, it's really easy to tell if your posts are 800 words. Um, okay, so, and the discussions that I'm gonna create, I'd like to create really broad discussions because I want people to have a discussion and not just reply to a prompt. Um, and so, <clears throat> the other thing about this course that's different is that I will be assigning a reading each week that's not listed in the required readings. So because we're reading an article about Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin, and because you have to write on that article, um, obviously I want things to connect. So you're gonna read the first 11 chapters of Uncle Tom's Cabin. It's about 130 pages. Um, and I'm gonna show you uh, the PDF version as well as the audiobook version uh, on YouTube. Um, all right, so you need to discuss the reading with me and with your classmates. Um, and then I just say here, remember that we're focusing on how culture influences and is influenced by literature. So here are some guiding questions. You don't have to answer all of these, and you might answer a different question that relates to these in your own mind. But what are the things you learned from the reading? What characters resonated with you and how did their attributes relate to the ways that you connected with them? How does Beecher's story align with or contradict um, what you've been taught about slavery or not taught about it? And then also one other thing, this isn't really a question, but work on interpreting passages or difficult things and identifying themes with your classmates. You might also, uh, the article this week is pretty difficult, so you might also consider um, integrating that along with the readings here and trying to elucidate aspects that you find confusing. Some of my guidance on discussions is that you're, make sure that you're referencing aspects of the story and what you're reading to support your claims. And whenever you use quotations from the readings, make sure that you cite them. Um, it's really easy to tell when a student reads like the first 10 pages of the reading and then they just focus on that, like the whole discussion, um, or they make just general comments from their own perspective about the reading. And you can tell that they didn't really do the reading or they didn't read it in enough depth to really understand it or to draw out themes or to examine character development or anything like that. And it's pretty easy for uh, instructors to tell that. And if you do that, you'll obviously get points and you'll, um, but you won't receive all the points if it's pretty evident that you didn't really like engage in depth. Uh, so the second thing here relates to that. You'll be assessed on the level of depth of your posts and the ways that you engage with me and with your classmates. And remember that academic discussions are always supported with high quality evidence. Um, if you're just going off the cuff the whole time, you're not supporting it with like academic journal articles or like actual portions of the text. Um, it's pretty evident, or if you're using like really bad websites or um, conspiracy theory websites or whatever, um, those things will be taken into account as well. Uh, you can work with your classmates, as I said, to interpret, interpret passages and themes. And if somebody responds to you, try to keep the conversation going. Of course, you can, you can go deeper and deeper in a specific conversation, and you should. You shouldn't just be looking for three different things. I'm going to post three different little posts and then leave it at that. And then reply to your instructors when they reply to you. Again, I'm not just on the sidelines. I want to engage with all of you. And so if we're having a good conversation, that counts as your post too. Let's have a good conversation and, uh, and get as deep into the text as we can. All right. So the final thing in this video I'll be doing is showing you, I'm gonna send you all an email and I'll post these things in the announcements, but it's pretty easy to find the full text of Uncle Tom's Cabin if you just search on Google. Um, and I'll send you this link. I will say though that this text, um, the text that they have in the Google books is uh, the actual text of Uncle Tom's Cabin doesn't start until page 60. You can see here it's page 60. And so the first 11 chapters that you have to read start on page 60. So don't read the first 60 pages. Um, we'll do the Dead Poets Society thing. Don't read the preface. Don't read the, or don't read the introduction from somebody else. Let's jump into the text ourselves. Um, also, for those of you who are more auditorily inclined, 
there's a full reading of Uncle Tom's Cabin. If you just go to YouTube, type in audiobook Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uh, this one here, it's 18 hours long. Um, I would recommend, Show the yes. Yes. so you can see yes. that I've been listening to it. Um, I would recommend for all of you who are driving to work, cooking meals for your kids um, or your family or just yourself, whatever you're doing, put in the ear earphones or put it on your phone. Um, the YouTube has an app. You can download the app um, and play it. Also, there's a, a, an app called LibriVox where um, you can find this as well. Uh, and so, and you can just listen to it while you're going to work, while you're coming home, um, while you're doing other things on your break. And in that way you can really get through a lot of the text. Now you might need to go back into this version to find actual passages if you are going to reference them. And I recommend that you do. Um, but make a note of it, uh, of which chapter it's in, because it'll tell you this is chapter one, this is chapter two, and then you can go back in and find it. So those are uh, the ways that you can get access uh, for free to uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin for this discussion. Uh, remember that if you have any questions, feel free to email me directly. Um, I've also put my phone number in the class. You can text me your questions. And uh, I'm going to create another video now where I just explained the assignment because already I, I can tell that I'm probably running up into the 10 minute range. So um, I hope you found this helpful and uh, please check out my next video uh, where I talk about the week one assignment.